I was born in a hospital in a place called Ashford and I've lived pretty much most of my life by the sea with my mum. My dad's Greek and I've only ever really seen him once and that was when I was 10. I flew over to Greece with my mum and he bought me a remote control car and I really liked that. When I was about two, my little brother was born, his name's Joe. I kind of liked having a little brother because it was someone to look out for. I went to two different schools when I was young and um, my mum used to love dressing me up for the fancy dress days and one day she dressed me up as the snail from Magic Roundabout. I loved school and I always really loved learning um, but despite this I was a little bit of a naughty kid at school and one time I, I had a fight with the biggest bully in school and the only way I won was by taking off my shoe and hitting him with it. When I was about five I was on the news because someone left used barbecue coals in a park and I fell in and I got third degree burns all up one side of my body but luckily they didn't scar. I went to secondary school when I was 13, not far from where I lived and this is where I met my best friend at the time, his name was Tom. Tom was very different from all the other kids and I think that's why we got on so well. We used to do silly little things like find dead frogs and put them in jam jars for four months to see what would happen to them. I loved secondary school and I never really got bullied, even though I was really weird. Um, and I think mainly this was because I was kind of the class clown. I had my first job when I was 13 doing a paper round and I had to wake up every morning at 6am to deliver papers. I've always loved working and actually having a job and since the age of 13 I paid for all my own clothes but I guess that's mainly because I love shopping. When I was at school I met probably one of the most important people in my life. Uh, my art teacher, his name's Mark Thomas, he was kind of one of these teachers that would never let you call him Mr Thomas, it was always Mark, and he was always really inspirational to me. I'd spend all my lunch breaks in his classroom and he'd teach me how to edit photos and videos and generally teach me that I can do anything I want in my life. It's hard to go into detail but Mark was not just a great teacher but he was an amazing friend and a great role model. This led me to go to college to do photography and film. I didn't really enjoy college and I felt the teachers had no passion and I learnt very little over the two years I was there. At 17 I moved out of home because I didn't get on with my mum's boyfriend. That was quite scary and I didn't really like where I moved to. Now this is where my list of jobs start and in most cases why I was fired. I've worked in a screen printer making t-shirts and shop signs. I actually didn't get fired from this one surprisingly. Next, a company where I sold airport parking over the phone, which was boring and I think I got sacked for playing Game Boy whilst on the phone to customers. Then I worked in the ferries going back and forth between France and I left this because I got seasick. I worked in a concert hall as a steward and I think I got sacked because when the bands played I just want to go and dance and listen to them. Then I worked in a call centre selling car insurance to old people. I like old people and they always had really funny stories and this is why I got sacked for chatting on the phone to them too much. I've even worked in a zoo um, but one day I was chucking my hat up and down in the air and it went into the elephant pen and the elephant ate it. I was sacked. I've worked in Greece as a hotel entertainer. I've worked in Italy as a person taking down tents. I know, a weird job. I worked in a coffee shop. I pretty much worked everywhere. During my last job I was talked into applying for a TV show and later on ended up going on the show. This helped me get some people interested in what I was doing and I started my YouTube channel about two years ago. I moved out of Kent and up to London with my friend George. This was a massive thing for me because I've always dreamed of moving to London. I met a YouTuber called Tino Forever and he introduced me to lots of YouTube people and at a YouTube meeting I met Alfie. At this point I had 20,000 subscribers and was really enjoying working with other YouTubers. About a year after starting YouTube I met Louis and I felt that he completely understood everything I was about and I could tell he was a good person to be around. Louis has big dreams like me and so far we've completed all the dreams we had. After meeting Sawyer in London for about 15 minutes he invited us to come and live with him in LA. So me and Louis got on a plane and we've moved to LA for a little bit. So that's my adventure so far and I've met some amazing people along the way and I've done some amazing things and I know this isn't the end of it. I'd like to tag Casper and Louis to also draw their life story. Um, Casper because I don't really know much about his life and Louis because I know he has a pretty fun life and I'd like you guys to see that. Thanks very much for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this.